I wonder Very who well. built this tunnel. Shall be done. alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isolde had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So. They left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica. A blood mage. You? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! I'm not allowed regrets? I've made a stupid mistake at the Circle and now I've made an even greater one. I'm... not a bad person. There's no reason for you to believe me, but I'm not. I have to make up for what I've done. I have to try. Connor had started to show signs. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free? Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. This is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I... Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'd stay and try to help if I could. Perhaps I can help deal with whatever's been unleashed here. Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested or executed. I'm tired of running from the Circle. I need to account for what I've done. I'm glad you think so.
So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow.
I shall do it. It shall be done. Valena, the Arlesa's maid. Is she all right? What happened to everyone? I don't know what happened. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. They didn't attack us right away unless you tried running. I I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. I don't know where everyone else is. The Arlesa was in the hall with Connor, but I haven't been there in a long time. How? There are more monsters out there! But, but the monsters... I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. It has begun.
I shall do it. <gasps> Please, don't hurt me! My... my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... all right? What happened to every... I don't know where everyone else is. The... How? There are more... Mo but, but the... Very well. Allow me. I could do that for you. Shall be done. Allow me. I could do that for you.
It has begun. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Excellent. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is a dwarf, Connor. You... You've seen dwarves before. We've had them here at the castle. Have them? For dinner, maybe. Looks like a tough chew. Maybe in a nice stew. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kitchen, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? Wha what's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? Well, you can't have anything! The castle, the village, it's all mine! I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun! I crave excitement! And action! More enemies Mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. 
Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Help! You betrayed me! This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isund. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. Connor is my nephew. But he is also possessed by a demon. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. You can enter the Fade then? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. I agree. And I offer my own life. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I shall do it.
What do you need? I shall do it. It shall be done. Very well. Allow me. I could do that for you. As you like. Allow me. I could do that for you. We received no word from the Circle of Magi yet. There has been no sight of the Mages yet. I told if you, you intend to continue with this plan, plan, I suggest you Until get off. Until we make a decision, I think I should remain here. I can... As you say.